Hello welcome to MTPK channel. You build your own cloud with Nextcloud but afraid of hard drive failure and data loss. To fix that you should install Nextcloud on Trunus. Let's go. First you set up DNS and gateway IP address for Trunus. You need to do this to avoid errors when installing Nextcloud. If you haven't set a static app address for Trunus, I recommend you to do it. Here I assign Trunus IP address 10.11.32.100. And here is the IP address, gateway and DNS I have set up on Trunus. To install Nextcloud, click on the plugins in the left menu. You choose the storage location when installing Nextcloud. Like here I choose Pool 1 to install Nextcloud. Here you name it so that it is easy to remember and as you want, in this example I named it Nextcloud. Here I want to assign Nextcloud a private IP address so I choose DHCP and uncheck NAT. Please wait patiently for about 20 minutes for the installation to complete. So that Nextcloud has been installed, the next steps we will set up to be usable. We will open the management page by clicking on the manager or entering the IP address of Nextcloud in any web browser. By default Nextcloud will report this error and we will fix it. You click Jails in the left menu and open the command window of Nextcloud. To fix the error you encounter, edit the configuration file of Nextcloud. You use the EE command to edit the config.php. If you paste the command, you need to use a combination of shift and insert. You scroll down and find the trusted domain block and fix it like I am. You can add individual addresses and domains, but I'll allow all, so I added the star character. To close the configuration file you use the ESC key and don't forget to save the changes. And now the error message is gone. While installing Nextcloud, we'll generate random password, you use it to access Nextcloud. The random password is long and hard to remember so you should change it to a more suitable password. Of course, I recommend setting up a strong enough password to keep your data safe. So we have Nextcloud Cloud but we can only use it in local network. To be accessible from anywhere, we will need the domain name and port forwarding. First of all, I use DuckDNS to assign Nextcloud a domain name. In this example I create a free domain name netv.duckdns.org. I will write down this domain for cloud access in the next steps. You can configure on Trunus to automatically update the public app address. Want to do that you use cron jobs. According to the instructions on the Ductons website, you copy and paste the command as I am doing. Remember to choose nobody is instructed. You can customize the public app address update schedule like hourly, daily, weekly, monthly. To use it, I choose to run now. But that is not enough to be able to access Nextcloud from the internet. 
To do that, you need to forward the port on the router. As here next cloud IP address is 10.11.32.106 I will create two port forwards as follows. First, forward port 80 to IP address 10.11.32.106. You can do port forwarding on most routers. Second port forwarding, forward port 443 to IP address 10.11.32.106. After obtaining the domain name and port forwarding we can access the cloud from anywhere over the internet. I basically finished guiding you to get a private cloud with true NAS. The next steps will help you keep this cloud more secure. As you can see Nextcloud is using self-signed certificates so it is not secure so I will use Let's Encrypt. And here are the steps. You open the Nextcloud configuration command window. Since Nextcloud is using Ginx, we will go through the steps to install enable encryption on Ginx. To paste the commands you use the combination of shift and insert. Here you replace with your domain name. You need to fill in all information to complete, first is the email address. With the first choice you choose yes and the second choice you choose no. After this step you have the necessary files but need to configure Nginx to use it. So you open the Nginx config file and edit it. Here you replace Trueness with your domain name. You replace in all three lines with domain name. Then you restart Nginx. To ensure the configuration is applied you restart next cloud. Let's see if it works by refreshing the web browser or adding a new tab. Still not working, I will try with another web browser. When I try it with Google Chrome browser it works fine. I will go back and try it with Microsoft Edge and see that it worked. So we have finished encrypting the communication between the user and the next cloud server. By default certificates are only valid for 90 days so you need to schedule auto renew. You create a new cron job to renew the certificate.
as well as how to update the public app address, you have options for automatic renewal every hour, day, week, and month. When installing Nextcloud I choose DHCP so over time the IP address will change. The next steps will assign a fixed IP address to Nextcloud. You open the command prompt and edit the file rc.conf. Here you enter your static app address in your gateway IP address. Here I assign static app address as 10.11.32.106. The gateway IP address is 10.11.32.140. Don't forget to save your changes when you close the rcconf file. If you want to change the DNS address, edit the file resolve.conf. Like here I add the address 1.1.1.1 to the list of DNS addresses. Don't forget to save your changes when you close the rcconf file. Then don't forget to reboot for the changes to take effect. So your IP address will be permanently assigned to your cloud. If you don't want to use complicated commands that can be configured on the router to get a fixed IP address for your cloud. It's IP address and MAC address binding. This feature is available on most routers. You just need to select the IP address and MAC address in the list of assigned IP addresses on the router and bind them together. With this configuration, your IP address will not be changed over time. So the Nextcloud cloud was built. You can now connect to Nextcloud from your computer or smartphone. Here I will test with Windows computer. Thanks for watching, good luck. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.